I've seen people die on the street. And that's another part of being homeless, is that you see things that other people don't see. They're just uh, scar the soul, is, is how I would say it. Some, some of those things have scarred my soul. James was a senior manager in high tech for 15 years. Then he lost it all. Bad decisions, bad luck, and some mental health issues left him homeless. First time I slept outside, it was, the only place I could find was in Reno, a Greyhound bus stations there, and there were hedges in front. And between the hedge and the, and the building, just grubby and filthy, but uh, I had my dog and we just slept in the trash in between the building and the, and the hedges. My, my state of mind being homeless has been very, at times, just a great deal of suffering. And, and not just the, the cold and the misery, of which there's plenty of that when you're outside in the winter, but the, the loneliness, the sense of helplessness when at night you're freezing, you have your dog and you have nowhere to go and there's no shelter that will take you, there's no home, there's, and, and so you walk and you walk kind of aimlessly because there's nowhere to go. To get homeless or to be homeless is, many people think that, oh, I could never be that. And coming from my perspective, I mean, I've owned a house, very successful, make very good money, working technology, moving up, um, had all the toys, the cars. And then once you're homeless, I think people don't realize exactly how difficult it is to get out. It's a hole that even myself, because I consider myself somebody who's resourceful, and boy, I've been battling that for a year or more, and uh, and I think I'm getting closer. Hope I am, but in the meantime, it was so hard to do.